Good morning, folks. We'll start with my mistake. The word said lava shot up into the air one kilometer, and I said, uh, no, that's not a shoot. If anything, that looks like curving, bolting red volcanic lightning. Turns out it is indeed lava, but it's running down a mountainside that's very hard to see in this picture, not going up into the air. They've used a different picture here than what they initially describe in the article. Now, what's the red lightning I thought we were looking at? Couldn't remember the link where we found this, but I yanked it out of one of my older videos because it's just a terrific example of what I thought we saw. Looked like runoff, but the description delivered the confusion. Next mistake is from CBS. Thanks to about all 200 of you who knew this was wrong and sent it to me immediately. Is it solar maximum? Yes. Does that normally mean more solar flares and potential for auroras at lower latitudes? Yes. But something's not right up there on our star after a record long and low solar minimum. The other half of the cycle's not living up to its end of the bargain. Now for you new folks, this is not about sunlight, ultraviolet rays. It's about X-rays and cosmic radiation let past the solar magnetic field to the planets. The sun's got a magnetic field just like the Earth has a magnetosphere, and it's fading. This is ultimately tied to a preposterous lack of flaring at the so-called max of this cycle. So dear CBS and all new viewers, over at our website, suspiciousobservers.org, you can watch the climate series, with lie in the name revealing the theme. A step-by-step -step charge of the lacking solar influence is doled out in climate number three. It goes beyond that to discuss the climate, obviously. If you want to focus on just the low current solar activity, Maybe try the background videos and look for the next ice age around the middle of the page. If you haven't seen the climate series or the background videos, they are very helpful when watching this channel. Comet Gallery on SpaceWeather.com has the newest Lovejoy comet from multiple locations, this one reaching naked eye brightness in the sky. Rover is up there zapping away, really good article on its findings up to now. Can't believe I get to talk about Starwater again. Chapter 1 of the series hit this topic and I suggested life might exist on Europa in the liquid oceans beneath the ice. Turns out, they think they have a better chance at determining that truth than they possibly thought. Chapter 1 ran through all the moons like this in our system, quite a few life potentials. Then, there is that which takes life away. The Philippines typhoon season sped way, way up here. It'll go down in the record books for a number of reasons, not the least of which is Haiyan. Just west of that, in the southern bay of Bengal, an Indian Ocean cyclone is forming close to the coastline, a bit further south than last month's storms. All thoughts go to the areas in Europe seeing 120 mile per hour winds, evacuations, storm surges, and flooding. It's essentially an Arctic hurricane. The warnings across the U.S. aren't much better. This started days ago by dropping temperatures out west dozens of degrees in two hours, and has pulled ice storms across the state since then. Eyes open here. Solar wind metrics showing more variability but no major shock impacts. Geomagnetics are quite calm. Solar flaring is in the mid-sea range, all coming from the southern solar disk. The central group is the only one not in decay. We see multiple chances for magnetic mixing amidst other groups that remain magnetically segregated. The coronal hole power spread across the earth-facing disk this morning. Not that it matters, as the blocking coronal field spent all night filling in every last little gap that could take a gander at our blue-green planet. As such, we've been quiet as anyone can remember. Tough to believe it's still that correlated. Anyway, SOHO is struggling, so we'll use Stereo A Core 2 to get a look at the latest interplanetary shock the sun has sent our way. Shots of that Earth-facing CME to close. Shouldn't miss, but will be small to medium size only. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.